What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 video. Now, this video is going to be discussing Urshifu in the current VGC season. Is he busted? Is he okay? Is he bad? I don't think he's bad. I don't think anyone will argue that Urshifu Dark is bad right now. And there's a reason that Urshifu has come into uh, the topic of discussion in the VGC community recently, and I'll be getting into that in just a second. Before we start the video, do me a favor, check out the link down below to this charity called Checkpoint. And basically, it's it's a charity that we're raising money for. Uh, at the end of the week, I'll be participating in a VGC tournament with some pretty unique rules. Basically, we're banning all legendaries, and we're also banning the Series 6 ban list to get sort of a very diverse new team comp going on for this particular tournament. Uh, we're raising money for this charity called Checkpoint, which is essentially a charity that focuses on the mental health of people, which I think is a very important cause at the moment uh, with more lockdowns happening and people not being able to go out and enjoy time with their friends. Uh, people are letting their mental health slip which is a very important part of your overall health. Make sure you're staying happy, do your best to uh, get outside as much as you can, uh, that sort of thing. But as people let it slip, a lot of you know dark thoughts happen, and I feel that uh, this charity is a good cause at the moment considering what's going on. So we're going to be raising money for this charity. If you want to donate, uh, click the link in the description down below, and at the end of the week you can actually check out my tournament run that I'll be live streaming at on Saturday at 5 p.m. CST. So yeah, uh, check that out, and let's go ahead and get into the video. So also, you know, the, the charity thing was more important, but also leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications. It feels weird saying that right after I, I just plugged a very important charity, but that too supports the channel. Urshifu. Let's get into that. So Urshifu is a really, really impressive Pokemon in the format that has seen a decent amount of usage on this core called uh, Nut. That's what we're trying to call it. Nihiligo Urshifu Thunderous. Um, and let me talk about Urshifu initially as a, as a singular Pokemon. It's a very powerful Pokemon. Dark Fighting is a typing we only really saw with Pangoro and Scrafty previously, and the main thing about Dark Fighting is that these Pokemon were really slow, uh, they had a lot of weaknesses when it came to that typing because of that, they were checked by fairies, absolutely, they were checked by flying types, absolutely. Urshifu has seen sort of a different story. Uh, it has really good physical bulk, bad special bulk, a good speed tier, and really high attack at 130. Those things together wouldn't really make a busted Pokemon, however its ability is what really makes it kind of gross along with its signature move. So its ability, if you don't know, is Unseen Fist. It pretty much bypasses all protection except for Max Guard, uh, which you don't want to waste your Dynamax just to block a single Urshifu Strike usually. Uh, and combined with Wicked Blow, which is a move that always results in a critical hit and is essentially 120 base power, that is a very devastating combo, because you can't intimidate it, it bypasses the intimidates, it bypasses screens, which is a really big thing in the format. Screens are huge right now. Uh, Urshifu has found a place on this team as a very powerful Pokemon. Now, why is Urshifu so good right now? Well, it could be because its biggest check, Togekiss, is no longer relevant in the format. Now, Togekiss was a Pokemon that absolutely checked it in previous seasons. Uh, Series 5 and prior Togekiss was legal, along with Series 7 right now, but I'll get into why Togekiss isn't relevant right now. Uh, Togekiss was able to absolutely switch in on both of these stab moves, wall it out, take very little damage, and absolutely annihilate it with Max Airstream, or coming off of Air Slash, I suppose, with Air Slash, with Dazzling Gleam. It was able to follow me away the hit from its partners if Urshifu was on the field. If you had like a Steel type in the field next to your Togekiss, you could follow me away the close combat, follow me away the Wicked Blow from a Psychic type. It was a really, really solid check for it. However, if we look at what's common right now, you'll understand why Togus isn't seeing as much usage. Metagross at number 1, Regieleki at number 5, Glacier at number 6, Kartana at number 8, Tornadus is a kind of a better flying type right now, uh, Tabu Koko is still relevant in the format. There are a lot of things that absolutely destroy Togus, which is why we're not seeing it right now. And a lot of you might be thinking, wow, I never would have thought of the day where I would miss Togus after the 6 seasons that we had with it, or the, the 5 seasons we had with it. Well, because Togekiss is no longer here, there's a very lim uh, limited list of Pokemon that actually check it, and that's because of the stab combination that this Pokemon has. If you want to run a fairy type to check Urshifu, you better make sure that it doesn't take neutral damage from its other stabs. So Pokemon that are off the list because of this, if we just make a list of all the fairy types relevant in VGC 2021, we can take a look at them. Hatterene, kind of relevant, not really. Uh, Tapu Fini, Tapu Koko, 
those two are absolutely Pokemon that can check Urshifu, so we can add them to the list. Uh, Hatterene is not a good check for Urshifu because it doesn't enjoy taking that wicked blow. It gets hit very hard by it, especially if it's a Life Orb set. Whimsicott seeing slightly lower usage this season because Tornadus is running around. Uh, however, it does outspeed it and hit it with a Moonblast. Other fairies, you could make an argument for Mimikyu, but I want to leave it off the list because if Mimikyu's disguise is broken, it doesn't actually eat the hit. Uh, Grimmsnarl, half dark type, does not want to take a close combat. Azumarill, not really relevant right now. Uh, Comfey is a decent switch in, I suppose. Other fairy types, I, I think we're like pretty much nearing the end of the list here as far as fairy types that beat Urshifu. Uh, Primarina, not as relevant, and I think it's really just Galarian Weezing past that point. I might be missing something, but it's pretty much Galarian Weezing, and he isn't even that common. He's really only on uh, team builds that focus around Regigigas. So this is our list of absolute Urshifu counters. And the reason I'm not really putting flying types on this list is for this reason. Let's look at Tornadus, a flying type that is actually, if I can spell right, a flying type that is actually really common in the format and definitely could one-shot Urshifu. Here's the thing. If this thing has to eat a wicked blow, or if it gets its focus sash destroyed in any moment prior to the match, it is not going to take a sucker punch from Urshifu. 79 HP, 70 defense is not bulky, so the sucker punch coming off of 130 base attack Urshifu is really, really gross. Now, in my opinion, I don't think Urshifu is completely busted, but I can understand that it is the main reason we're running these fairies on our teams. So let's take a look at this. Tapu Fini, number one in usage right now, for a couple of reasons. Has a decent Metagross matchup, it doesn't lose or win automatically, it's able to eat a hit, do whatever it needs to. Great versus Landorus, great versus Incineroar, uh, pretty good versus Moltres, and it, it just goes on from there. It's a great water type overall, and probably the best water type in the format at the moment. However, the main draw is the fairy typing that allows it to resist fighting moves, it allows it to resist dark moves, and the main offender of those two moves right now is Urshifu. Urshifu is super strong. <laughs> it, it can one-shot a lot of things with Wicked Blow, especially how frail things are in the format right now. Like Nihiligo is pretty common, it could definitely one-shot Nihiligo. Um, but it finds Nihiligo as a partner better. And I'm going to get into the core now. I want to talk about this core that's running around the Nut Core. The Nut Core is so good, and the main star is really Urshifu here. Here's the reason. Urshifu being able to bypass a Intimidate is a really big thing because of Wicked Blow. However, an Intimidate still could be useful if you want to make sure you're not getting knocked out by close combat since it doesn't bypass that one. Um, so you might want to lead off with something to, to Intimidate uh, Urshifu on the lead. Well, Thunderous just got the ability to fight this generation through ability capsules. It had it before, but it was just unlocked this VGC season. So Thunderous Urshifu on lead is very scary. If you want to lead off with an Incineroar and then get it off the field immediately to make sure you get the initial Intimidate, well, guess what? Thunderous just got plus one. If you want to lead off with a Tapu Fini to wall the Urshifu, guess what? Thunderous is running a physical set right now, which is Tapu Fini's slightly lower defense stat, and it's definitely going to be hitting you with a max move coming off a wild charge, probably one-shotting you if you decide to intimidate it. Now that's really gross. Now what about the other fairies that check Urshifu? Well, that's why Nihiligo's on the team, and also Rillaboom, because Rillaboom helps out Nihiligo. So Nihiligo is a very powerful poison type. It is probably the best poison type we have right now, 127 base special attack, 103 base speed, that's really good. Amazing special bulk at 109 HP, 131 special defense. The only thing it's lacking is the physical defense, but that really isn't the issue because most of the things that are checking Urshifu are special attackers. This thing, one shot by Sludge Bomb. This thing, not one shot usually because you have some bulk on it, but it can be if you let this thing get a beast boost. Whimsicott, one shot. Comfey, probably one shot. Weezing, it can switch in on it, but like I said, it's not common. On top of that, because this thing has the secondary typing of rock, it's able to check the flying types that want to check Urshifu, namely Tornadus, which once again isn't a true check, but another Pokemon that might want to switch in on Urshifu is Moltres Galar, which is a Pokemon that is so good in the format right now because of its good bulk. While it does take a close combat neutrally, it is able to resist a Wicked Blow, but guess what? Nihiligo has a phenomenal matchup versus Moltres. It's very difficult to one-shot Nihiligo with this Pokemon, regardless of how many special attack boosts you have, because this thing has 100 base special attack. That, that doesn't matter when you're hitting it on the special side of things on Nihiligo, because this thing has 109 HP, 131 special defense. So while you won't be Dynamaxing this Urshifu most of the time, Dynamaxing the Nihiligo is such a good option versus Moltres that it actually helps check all of these counters for, for Urshifu just by having Nihiligo and Thunderous on it. That's why this core has seen so much success. Now, 
Nihiligo on its own could justify a whole video because it's such a good Pokemon right now. I don't think it's busted, but it's such a cool Pokemon. The synergy with these three Pokemon is what's being discussed right now. Is Urshifu busted because of this core? Now, personally, in my opinion, I haven't had too much issue facing Urshifu in the format. However, I can understand where people are coming from. The main reason I don't have issues facing Urshifu is because I, I know what I'm doing when I'm team building, and most people also know. They know that you need to run a fairy type. So, this team. I have a Tapu Fini on my team. Checks Urshifu. Checks it very well. However, if we look at the Nihil... Ignore the Altaria. That was, a, that was a fun little team building thing, but... If we look at the Nihiligo, Urshifu, and Thunderous matchup, Thunderous... Nihiligo Urshifu, they, they actually kind of mess up my team if played correctly. It's it's sort of like a 50-50. If I play my team right, I can beat it. However, that is such a good that is such a good team combination that it's very difficult to play around for a lot of teams. Uh, if we look at what I brought to Players Cup, I'm very happy I didn't face Thunderous Urshifu Nihiligo because this matchup is really bad for me. If you look at it, Nihiligo, if if the Urshifu can open up uh the entire team by like either removing Landorus or Kartana, or if I let off with Landorus versus the Thunderous and he manage to remove these two, I get absolutely destroyed by Nihiligo. Urshifu checks everything else that isn't checked by Nihiligo, really. Like, the Marowak uh, is checked by both of them. Um, what would... Well, I mean, Urshifu doesn't do much versus this team, but still, that, that general core is, like, really, really disgusting in the format. So, I, I just want to get your opinions. I want to know what you guys think. I was bringing you guys this information to sort of start a discussion in the comment section down below. Is Urshifu broken, or is it this particular combination that really makes Urshifu broken? Let me know. I want to know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Uh, leave a like in the video if you learned anything, if you enjoyed the video. Uh, do all that. Subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, and also check out the charity. Please donate. Have a nice one. Bye.